In the example, we have the following scenario. The example says, suppose y is defined as secant x divided by 1 plus tangent x. Well, let us not simplify this function. Just start taking the derivative. y prime of x. To find y prime of x, we're going to apply the quotient. If you have f divided by g for two differentiable functions, it is f prime g minus f g prime divided by g squared. Let's see. The derivative of numerator secant times 1 plus tangent of x minus secant of x times 1 plus tangent of x derivative divided by 1 plus tangent of x to the second power. Y prime of x is equal to, so we just learned that the derivative of secant is secant tangent, secant of x times tangent of x times 1 plus tangent of x minus, you're going to copy down secant of x as it is, and you're going to take the derivative of 1 plus tangent of x. So the derivative of 1 is 0 plus the derivative of tangent is secant of x. Everything is divided by 1 plus tangent of x to the second power. So y prime becomes secant times tangent, 1 plus tangent minus secant squared divided by 1 plus tangent of x to the second power. Very well. Let's take a look at our simplification here. Here you can factor out secant, and you're left with secant of x times tangent of x times 1 plus tangent of x minus secant squared of x. We try to create tangent squared and secant squared with subtraction next to each other because we're going to use the uh, trick identity that we learned before in pre-calculus. So y prime of x is equal to secant of x tangent x plus tangent squared of x minus secant squared of x divided by 1 plus tangent of x to the second power. Remember that 1 plus tangent squared, which is 1 plus sine squared divided by cosine squared, can be written as if you take common denominator between these two, cosine squared over cosine squared plus sine squared divided by cosine squared of x, which is sine squared plus cosine squared, 1 over cosine squared of x. So 1 plus tangent squared of x is nothing but secant squared of x. So if you're asking why we factor out secant of x, it's because I'm trying to create tangent squared and secant squared with subtraction next to each other. So secant squared minus tangent squared is equal to 1, or tangent squared minus secant squared is equal to negative 1. So this guy is negative 1. So what's left? The derivative of this function has been written as secant of x times tangent x minus 1 divided by 1 plus tangent of x to the second power.